Come be entertained <laughs> is what I'm saying. Talking to my daughter. You guys have met her before on a different episode. This is not such a dull episode. Never a dull moment. That's what I'm saying. It's been a minute since we've been in the studio. Glad to be back. We've been waiting for a while to show this to you. The number one episode that we have in all the series of the current 293 videos that we've had over the last three years. The number one episode, of course, is the one about the Chinese cleaver. Well, on that particular episode, we did not bring to you a Chinese cleaver. We brought a Japanese-made version of a Chinese cleaver, but things are about to change. We are bringing to you an actual Chinese cleaver from China. That's where you expect it to be from. And it's going up against a brand new, never before used, Japanese-made Chinese cleaver. Now, not the same one you saw in the other episode, but by the same blacksmith, we have a Kurosaki super blue that's right japan one of japan's best making us a chinese cleaver versus the cck we got the chin sheet am i gonna say it right let me cheat the chin sheet key i don't want to cut myself this oh my goodness you're gonna have to undo the tape maybe on no the back. i got it there ah. it is let me see yep the chin sheet key I had to cheat sometimes you kind of you gotta cheat all right, so okay, let's, let's just go ahead and unveil it. I mean, we got the Chan Chi Key. Oh my! Chan -chi Can I say it's in the red corner? Just I, being funny. Not, yeah. Just being funny. Ha ha! Okay. Everybody got the joke. This is a Chinese cleaver. You can see that traditional what we like to say in Japanese kuroji finish. This is a carbon steel core. It's still referred to in some websites as stainless. Um, I don't know until we find out if it's actually going to oxidize. One of the things I'll point out is... It's got a short little handle, it, doesn't it? Well, and this, that's what you say. That this is, it does have a short handle. And this is a short cleaver for them. But this particular cleaver mm -hmm. was um, featured on a ma in a magazine called Milk Street. And I don't know if you guys know... Um, Christopher Kimball, he used to be on America's Test Kitchen. And that particular show, they test everything. He did his own thing. And on Milk Street, they named this like the best knife, period. It was recommended by him. Um, we got this under $100. This is about $76, $79. Um, so obviously a great deal. This is a slicer. And you guys can definitely tell by the profile. This is not the type of cleaver that is for bone breaking. No, it's too thin. Uh, put it right here. Angle okay. it. Yep. Thank you. Now you guys can see it. Yeah, a little thicker at the spine, huh? Huh? A little bit. Yeah, not a ton though. I mean, well, yeah, it is thicker. This is going to be definitely okay for your vegetables. But it's got like a nice little belly to it, yeah? I mean, let's, you look at something like flat too, mm. you can see there's a nice rock to it. I wouldn't use it with a rocking style. No, but a little bit, yes. Yeah, so let's see what the CCK or the Chan Chi Key is going up against. So as you can see, neither one of these knives have ever been used. Either one of these have never been used. Fresh out, never, boom. Quite a difference in the presence, especially in the height. This particular super blue, you got the Tachimi marks, you got that Kuruchi finish. Let's yeah, let's do it. it. Let's do, do it. So both of them are going to get tested for sharpness out of the box. I've had this thing for more than a year and a half, probably. Not You guys have not seen it. You have seen its twin, um, and right, if you remember, I actually, I actually sharpened its twin sharp enough to slice blueberries. So we know that this this particular blacksmith and this super blue steel can get it done. Thanks. So definitely difference in the Chinese style handle versus the Japanese handle. Definitely a difference in the blade length. Yeah. The length, the thickness, the handles. Lots of stuff. 
Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Let's go ahead, fresh out the box. Oh, we do the test yes. first. Yeah, the best first. So, let's light it up. Out the box. It's resting on it. Okay. 277. Okay, so we always test in multiple points. Now, I do want to point out something in particular. This was shipped not in a box. This was this was its situation here. Easily could get damaged. Um, this was Chef Knives to go, by the way. Where the other one had a little bit more protection. So let's just do a different place on the blade. Oh, that's... The, oh, is that the one? Uh, or that one was just a bad one. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, that one's fresh. Okay. The suspense. Pretty much the same. Pretty much the same. So you guys are seeing comparable. So on this show, what we're used to is a little better standard than that. It's a chopper. I mean, I get it. But I mean, we are all used to like a little bit more. Okay. Next. But we're talking more than double the price. I mean, this thing is sold out anywhere on the internet. I mean, whether you found it at 250 300 325 425 the websites are all over the place due to the limited supply and demand. What, the Japanese one? The Japanese one, yeah. It's, you know, everyone had contacted me about them. Um, Especially the other one because it's just that pattern. He just doesn't make it anymore. This one you can find even when I looked on Knives and Stones today. Uh, it's the waiting list notify. Okay, big difference. I mean, you could just, I mean, as soon as it, you know, it just fell through. So let's pick a whole nother spot. Pretty consistent there too. So definitely sub 200. So obviously we expect a different center performance. Let's find out performance wise if we can slice paper with a two, what was it, 60 something? 277 and 280 I believe. It's doing a little bit. Okay. It's got a little louder sound, but getting it done. It was close to 300. I mean, I. Yeah. Let's get a fresh piece of paper. It deserves its own paper. <laughs> like it has feelings. It deserves its own piece of paper. Yeah, you know, nice push. Nope, doesn't nope. push. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, but the wife always freaks out because it's close to my fingers. I just don't want the episode where we have to go to the hospital. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Let's see if any of those cut paper towel. Really? <laughs> I'm like, I can't even close up on that, dude. Uh, no. So even sub at 160 is not paper towel. <laughs> it's it's tearing. tearing. Yeah. So we'll give it credit. I mean, neither one is paper towel. One's a little better. Obviously, the numbers say a certain thing. So now let's get into some, like, what it does. All right, so we're looking for a little food release. 
Um, you would guess, if you were just talking conversation, you would guess food release would be better because of the hammer marks. Um, because there's going to be less actual surface area touching the food, it should like let it slip away. The thickness on these is pretty much the same. The weight on these is pretty much the same. Uh, the Chinese one is a little thinner at the top. Um, the Chinese one's going to be working at this sharpness a little bit more wedging effect. So, um, you guys heard that microphone drop? Is that what they say? Mic drop. Mic drop. Let's just see. Um, So definitely a difference. I'm, I'm cutting the same area. Just to show a difference in sharpness. Yep. So a little bit more craftsmanship when it comes to the actual sharpening itself. Okay, so a little it's not biting at all. And you yeah. know what? Here's the deal though. Okay, so obviously their scores were nowhere near each other. So that one's not gonna perform the same. If yeah. you, yeah. what if you had it sharpened? I'm sure it would actually bite oh, through absolutely, something. absolutely, absolutely. But I'm just still saying, you bought the knife, $80. You haven't sharpened it, it's out of the box. Yes. You know, what did you get? That's, that's kind of the goal, you know? That seemed a little smoother on the bottom end, not so much the top. You can see the the pepper. Well, it's the it's le yeah. I mean, it's it's leaking. <laughs> That's not the right word. It yeah. So yeah. if you buy the other one, you got to sharpen it. So what we will do separately, and you're you're like you've seen me say this is um, I'm going to be for shooting another episode here in a little while, and I'm going to get some stones out to sharpen another knife and I will shoot. I will just sharpen it real quick and then do a little ta -ta and just see what we got. Okay. With the sound effect, of course. No reason. Do I even cut up the potato? I mean, is it even a point? Well, to I see? would, I, okay, so I would say yes in the fact that what is the difference? What does it feel like cutting, wait, cutting, you're now I want you to do both of them though. Yeah. Well, what I'm doing is I'm giving myself a little surface area. Yeah. No, not that. Uh, hold on. I wanted to see. <laughs> I wanted to see. Of course you did. I mean. There's that banter, folks, that, you know, 80% of you like. <laughs> there you go. So it did do good on the potato slicing paper. On. Okay. I want to know so, how it chops. Okay. Whoa. Okay, now use the other one. I want to know the difference. That's a funky ass potato. <laughs> Sorry. That was English, <laughs> not French. And you see everything falling off. Yeah, but what's the difference? How does it feel? What's the difference in the feel? Because I mean, the one is so much bigger know, than the other one. Yeah, um, I'll tell you, like, first of all, the first thing I noticed was the lack of sticky. So I have another potato, give me a second. see is we did get like a stick yep yeah that's no different than the other one
Yeah, there's so, the release is different there. Yes. So what I would say is I enjoy the height of this. So that that's definitely one. It's it's nice. Um, obviously, it's significantly taller. I mean, it's it's significantly taller, and that's it. It's just kind of coming over the. Is that the best way to do it? Yeah, just heat the blades are down, but yeah. That it. Yeah, I mean I. Yeah. Yeah. So it was definitely nice at nice at the height of the potato. I'm um, definitely you know the length of this, and I might but might have been wrong. Like I, this might be longer than the, what I read was the small cleaver. Um, they might have an actual smaller one than this. Um, I like the height. I like the thickness. I like the weight. I don't mind the small handle. There's no waste on the handle. It's under a hundred dollars. So when we will get back to and give you guys an update on what we got the score to and this thing should shut so if you keep watching this channel and watch some of the videos i'll put a link above to the sharpening playlist get you guys up to date we i know we can make this thing shine i'm leaving it wiped uh, not wiped down right now just so we can see if it oxidizes um we know with this super blue it's going to oxidize but i will say this why i love super blue in general it takes forever to oxidize it oxidizes nice you, you really don't worry you don't you know you can you could probably just go eat your meal and wipe it down later i mean it's not recommended but you really don't have to run and and worry stuff like that so the chinese make cleaver i really like as long as you can get an amazing edge on it we're going to put an edge on it get back to you and then see what kind of scores we can get um but the difference in price we're talking like one third Difference in the hand, how they felt. I mean, just you know, it's just nice. I mean, this is this has got significant weight. I mean, this is is that this the, is, is it the metal or the handle? Because it's the handle. It's so the much metal okay. first, then the handle. I tell you this: if you've ever picked up a nice watch, something that's made up of quality, where well, you could just tell. I mean, it really, it really has the like. I bought something a nice. Um, this is lightweight. I think it's got the performance. It's sheer. You know, it's. Streamlines stuff like that. It gets it done. Eighty dollars. I mean, come on. You know, if you if you you can put a super edge on it, it'd be hard to go wrong. I can see just doing like amazing stuff. This is a little bit more. But I, this you could probably beat up a little bit. I mean, it's still too thin. Don't put it on bone. It's not a chopper. You know what I mean? But you could really even like suffer the loss at eighty dollars to replace it. Where this one, they don't even make hard to get. You'd probably baby a little bit more but the performance is through the roof especially out of the box if you don't know how to sharpen you're already getting something amazing and if you can sharpen i was able to slice blueberries with this i know and get at that level so we're going to find out if we can get this to blueberry slicing level later if we can get some footage of that we'll add it to this episode if not it might be its own episode thank you guys i definitely know that that was not such a dull moment hopefully that was sharp enough we're always trying to stay sharp for you guys Thank you for checking us out, all the Blade Show episodes. We took a little time off for family. We still got more of those to come. We appreciate you always checking in Friday nights at 8 o'clock. We're out.